The Resistance, How to Play. The object of the game is to be the first team to get three points. There are two teams, the Blue Resistance and the Red Spies. Select the appropriate board based on how many people are playing. Shuffle the identity card so that there is one card per player and the number of spy cards in the mix is equal to how many the board indicates. Deal one identity card to each player. You are not allowed to show your card to any other player. Place the round and vote trackers on the board. Give each player one approve and one reject token. Give one player the leader token. Everyone closes their eyes and the leader indicates for the spies to open their eyes so they can look at each other and know who each other are. After about 15 seconds, the leader tells them to close their eyes and everyone to open their eyes and the game begins. Each round you have to complete missions. The number inside the mission circle indicates how many players need to make up the team for that mission. The mission leader gives each team member he wants to send on the mission one gun token. Once all the gun tokens have been given out in accordance to the mission requirements, then all the players vote on the team as to whether they approve or reject it. If the majority rejects the team, then the leader token is passed to the next player clockwise who then must form a new team for the same mission. Additionally, you move up the vote track by one. If you can't agree on a team five times in a row, then the spies automatically win the game. If the majority approves the team, then each member of the team is given two mission cards, one success and one fail. If the player is on the blue resistance team, they must turn in a success card face down. If a player is on the red spy team, they may choose to either turn in a success or fail face down. Once all the team members have turned in their mission cards, two separate players must shuffle them, then the leader reveals the cards. If there is at least one fail in the group of cards, then the whole mission fails and you place a spy token on the mission circle, giving the spies one point. If all the mission cards are success, then you put a resistance token there instead, giving the resistance one point. Take note, sometimes a mission will require two fails instead of one. The cards that were not turned in remain face down and get shuffled into the rest of the mission cards. After a mission, move the round marker over one and the leader selects another team. The game continues until one team accumulates three points. During the game, players are encouraged to talk and discuss however they like to help them figure out who's who and who should go on missions.